Hello, everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers recap for Thursday, May 23, reveals that Anna Devine summoned Carly Spencer to tell her about Jack Brennan putatively pecking himself and intimating that he wanted her to visit him at PH. Carly made it clear that she slightly knew Brennan, but Anna still sounded upset as she tried to go see him. At Sonny Corinthos' extension, Alva Jerome played down what happened with Christina Corinthos, Davis, and got updates on Dante Falconeri putting his emblem first. Once Alva offered a vetestination on Christina coming around, she tried to condemn everything on Jason Morgan. After Carly showed up, Sonny echoed Ava's words and acted like the whole Dex Heller situation escalated because of Jason. Carly asked who Sonny would condemn formerly. He ran out of serpents, but he transferred her on her way. Ava praised Sonny for his restraint once they were alone and said it was nearly like Carly wanted him to be disgruntled from his children. Over with Dex, he appreciated Christina offering to swear on his behalf if he pressed charges but he hadn't decided what to do yet. Dex ultimately showed up in Anna's office and left her affrighted once she saw his beaten face. After Dex said this was off the record, he explained what happened with Sonny and how Christina was willing to swear against him. Still, Dex was uncertain of his coming move since he didn't want to jeopardize the baby, but he also stressed not reporting the crime might blemish the emblem before he ever put it on. And a conceited effects were always that simple when it came to being a Bobby and suggested that although the crime was against Dex, the ramifications could affect other people. Anna also suggested that perhaps it was not the right time to go after Sonny, though it was completely over to Dex if he wanted to report him. Anyhow, Dex wasn't obliged to press charges then, so he decided he would not. At Hamilton Finn's apartment, Elizabeth Baldwin pushed him not to throw down his sobriety, but he argued she was not in charge of his opinions and flew into a rage. Finn advised that Liz could either stay and make fellowship irons with Violet Finn or leave. Once Finn opened the door, Elizabeth walked out and watched as he slammed the door on her. After Liz got Harrison Chase on the phone and admitted that his family demanded him, Chase came over with Brooklyn Quartermain. Brooklyn noticed the open bourbon bottle and offered to take Violet for a walk so that Chase could talk ground, up stuff with Finn. Violet ended up at Bobby's with Brooklyn and raised her fears about commodity passing to her own pater. Brooklyn assured Violet that Finn was strong and healthy, so she claimed he'd be around for a long time. Back with Chase, he also saw the bourbon bottle and pushed Finn to tell them everything that went down this morning. Finn told the story of chancing departed Gregory and admitted he was not sure how numerous drinks he'd had. At the Quartermain manse, Lois Cirolo and Ned Quartermain assured each other as they bothered about how Chase and Brooklyn were holding up. Latterly, Giovanni, Jill, Palmeri showed up ready to move by, so Lois told him that Yuri could handle his luggage. After Lois admitted Gregory passed down and caused the newlyweds to cancel their honeymoon, Gio bothered this was not the right time for him to stay there. Lois snappily offered consolation and felt certain this was the right place for Gio, so he embraced her with gratefulness. At the Hale in Albany, Alexis Davis conceded that she committed perjury, but that was at the medical board Hale. Alexis didn't find out until latterly that the legal board had met about her disbarment, and Fergus Byrne was firstly part of that panel until his own lawmate replaced him. Once Alexis claimed she was not given fair treatment, she pushed for the name of her appellant. Fergus ultimately admitted it was Ava Jerome, so Diane Miller flipped out and pushed for a separate hail since this changed everything. The panel denied Diane's request and only allowed her a 10 nanosecond recess, rather. In private, Alexis complained to Diane about Ava trying to get back at her over Julian Jerome. Between that and Fergus' own vendetta, 
Alexis felt her disbarment had no way truly been about the law. Diane and Alexis eventually learned it was time for the hail to renew. General Hospital spoilers say Alexis will keep fighting for her career, so stay tuned for news on this Hale's outgrowth. Portia Robinson feels equivocal. Molly Lansing, Davis, and T. Ashford go on a date. Plus, Cody Bell and Stella Henry support Tracy Quartermain. Keep reading to find out what's coming up in the coming occasion of the ABC Cleaner Pieces. Cody Bell and Stella Henry support GH spoilers for Friday, May 24 reveal that Tracy will be in need of support. Easily, this is about Gregory Chase's death. Tracy had genuine passions for Gregory. Tracy helped encourage Gregory to tell his favored bones, the verity about his opinion and prognosis. Tracy was also there when Gregory plotted during Harrison Chase and Brooklyn Quartermain's marriage. Meanwhile, Gregory offered amazing support, stimulant, and reality checks to Tracy as well. As everyone struggles to manage with Gregory's death, Cody and Stella will try to support Tracy. He gave spoilers Molly Lansing, Davis State on Friday, May 24, Molly and TG will go on a date. The two will presumably celebrate each other as well as their impending baby. Still, there's commodity that Molly and TJ didn't know. Kristen Acorinthos, Davis witnessed Sonny Corinthos hanging to kill both Jason Morgan and Dex Heller. Of course, Dex has decided not to press charges right now, a decision that Anna Devane supports. What happens when TJ and Molly learn about it, however? Elizabeth Baldwin's Instincts General Hospital spoilers for Friday, May 24 reveal that Liz wouldn't be suitable to shake her concern. Now, this is about Hamilton Finn's drinking and grief which directly affects Violet Finn. On Friday, May 24, suckers can also anticipate Portia to feel equivocal. From the exercise clip, it appears that Liz tells Portia about Finn's drinking. What kind of decision will Portia make and how will this affect the other dynamics? The next on GA exercise clip for Friday's occasion also shows some intriguing scenes. Tracy asks Stella for a special request. Alexis Davis explains in court that if she knew any of those effects, she'd have taken a different approach. Violet continues fussing about Finn to Brooklyn. Which plot are you looking forward to seeing the most on Thursday, May 24, 2024? Partake your studies in the comments section below. Flashback to keep watching The Cleaner on ABC to find out what happens coming. For further about what's passing on your favorite detergents, and further ways to connect with us. Join the discussion on our Facebook page. Check out our Twitter feed. Look for an update on our Instagram. Follow us on Vestments. Always stay over. To date with us on Google News or drop us a mail then. See you there. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.